In the previous interviews, Daniele and Claudine explained us in which food we can find polyphenols and why they are important for our health. Now, let's take a step further and understand a bit more of what happens when we eat food rich in polyphenols. Let's ask this to Professor Kieran Tui from the Fondazione Edmund Mack. Hello, Kieran. Thanks for being with us today. We were wondering how polyphenols and their metabolite interact with the gut microbiota. Well, it's a, it's a complicated story. About 95% of the plant polyphenols we ingest in, in foods like fruits and vegetables and whole grain cereals actually reach the colon. They're not absorbed directly in the stomach or small intestine. And once they reach the colon, they're metabolized by the microbiota into smaller compounds, usually small phenolic acids. And it's only then that these compounds become biologically available and are absorbed into the human system. Uh, now, the, these polyphenols can uh, then mediate their physiological effect on the host, uh, but also within the intestine, uh, they can impact on the relative abundance of different bacteria. Some bacteria are more sensitive to uh, polyphenols than others. Some are inhibited. Typically, the, the gram-negative proteobacteria, for example, can be inhibited by certain polyphenols. On the other side, the polyphenols can impact on the metabolism of the microbiota, impacting on their ability to carry out fermentation or produce short-chain fatty acids, or modify their ability to interact with bile acids, for example, another uh, emerging signaling molecule related to the gut microbiota. So there are many uh, different channels of communication between polyphenols and, if you like, the whole plant foods from which they're derived and the microbiota. And we're beginning to understand that some of these polyphenol microbiome interactions may be the basis for some of the health effects associated with, with whole plant foods and diets rich with whole plant foods. Thank you, Kieran. If you want to know more about ILSI Europe, go to www.ilsi.eu and follow us on social media. If you wish to know more about the Health Benefits Assessment of Food Task Force and activities, stay tuned for more videos or get directly in touch with us.